hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna show you how to make your windows 10 desktop look more clean and elegant like this and guys if you are new to my channel please be sure to hit the subscribe button so guys without wasting any more time let's get on with the video okay guys first of all you need to download the software so the first software is winstep nexus software just click this download button and guys all the download links will be in the description box down below so you can also check them out and guys you need to download this rainmeter software click on the first download button and then you need to download this icon say it feature app you can get this software from the microsoft store and also you can click this direct download button to download this software from your web browser after that you need to download this rainmeter skin to download it just click this download icon and guys it will ask to create a account before you download this skin so go ahead and create a account after that you can download these skins and also you need to download this visualizer skin and guys this skin is not necessary if you like you can also download the skin so click the download button and guys once the files were downloaded go to the location where the files were saved and now you will see the rainmeter installer file double click the installer and then install the software okay guys once the rainmeter software is downloaded your desktop will look like this so first we need to remove these default skins so to do that right click on the skin and click on unload skin and then just repeat the same process to all these three skins okay guys once you do that you can install the skin that you downloaded so guys first you need to install this skin not the visualizer skin you need to in install the other skin so just double click the skin and make sure these three boxes are checked after that click on install and now you will see your desktop like this and here you will see the settings panel and you can click this box and now you can change the color so i'm gonna go with the white color and click on ok and now you can choose your media player if you like to play like a music but i don't think it's necessary so now you can choose the format of your clock if you like to have the 24 hour clock you can choose that and if you like the 12 hour clock you can also choose that one too so once you put the settings and guys keep in mind the weather is not working with the skin i don't know why so do not waste your time searching for the weather code so once you put the settings that you need you can close the settings panel and now you can unload the unwanted skin so i'm just gonna unload the skin right click on the skin and click on unload skin and also i'm gonna unload this skin too and now you can put these skins anywhere in your desktop and now you can install the nexus software so guys as you can see the nexus software is downloaded as a zip folder so I just extract using winra or any other software you have after that double click on the nexus setup and then install the software and guys once the nexus software is installed it will look like this and now you need to click this nexus icon and now it will open the preferences window first i'm gonna go to the sounds tab and then i'm gonna check disable all voices and disable all sounds and then apply it and then go to the position tab and then here you will see option attach dock to which screen edge you need to change it from top to bottom and apply it and then it will go to the bottom of your screen after that you can change the value of it to 50 and apply after that make sure the center is zero and apply it and then go to the appearance tab and then click on dock transparency and then i'm going to increase this value to 100 percent and click ok and apply after that it will remove that black box around these icons okay guys after that i'm going to change the how much of each icon should be reflected i'm going to change the value of it to zero and apply it and again i'm going to go to the position and then i'm going to increase this value to around 54 and apply it and then go to the effects tab so i'm going to change the mouse or effect to jump so I'll go through all of this effect and then find where it says jump and then you need to click this effect settings and then i'm gonna decrease this value and click ok and apply it and now you can click ok and now it will close the preferences window after that you need to remove these other icons so right click on the icon and click on remove from dock and click yes 
so just repeat the same process to the every icon but accept the nexus icon so guys once you remove all the icons that you don't need you can put the icons that you need so just drag and drop the icons you need near to the nexus icon and then it will pin to the nexus doc software so just repeat the same process to the every application and now you can right click on the nexus icon and click on remove from doc after that you can arrange these icons and now you need to open up the icons 8 pitch and app to change the applications icons so open up the icons 8 pitch and app and now click on this box and then you need to go to the png section and make sure it is into x and you can change the color i'm gonna go with the white color and then i'm gonna go to the windows 10 tab and now we can search for the icons you need so i'm gonna search for the icons that i pinned to the nexus dock so i'm gonna search as premium and now once you search for the icon you will see that icon and guys now you need to right click on your desktop and click on new and create a folder you can call this folder as icons and now you can open up that folder and then you can drag and drop the icon to this folder and in that way you can save these icons in a separate folder so i already saved the icons that i need in a separate folder so i'm just gonna close this software and also delete this folder and then you need to right click on the application and click on doc entry properties and then it will open a window like this and click on change icon and click on browse and then go to the location where you save the icons so i'm gonna go to the desktop and then open up the icons folder and you need to select the icon and click on open ok ok and it will change the icon of the software so just repeat the same process to the every application in the dock ok guys now i need to add a url to this it means a new item so to do that right click on any icon and click on insert a new dock item after that select item and now if you adding a url you can change the item type from program to url and if you adding like a software you can change it to program and then i'm going to delete the label of that and now you can go to youtube then you can copy the url of youtube and then just paste it in the box where it says url and click on change icon and now you can put a icon you need and now you can install the visualizer skin so just double click on the visualizer skin make sure these two boxes are checked and click on install and here you will see this icon and then you can put this skin in the middle of your desktop and now you can right click on your desktop and click on new and then you can turn off show desktop icons and also you can put like a clean background to your desktop and guys the link to download this image will be in the description box down below if you like you can also download this wallpaper and if you have any other wallpaper you like you can also put it as your background and guys now what you want to do is once you put all the skins in the position that you need right click on the skin and go to settings and you need to turn off draggable and also do the same thing to the other skins so guys as you can see guys now these skins will be locked in the same position so you cannot move these skins and if you like to put this in any other position again you can right click on the skin and go to settings and you can turn on draggable and then you can move the skins so just do the same thing to the visualizer skin and now you can play any music in your background And guys this visualizer skin will be react to your music and yeah guys that's how you can make your windows 10 desktop look more clean and elegant and guys if you make this far in the video please be sure to like subscribe and also share this video with your friends and i will see you guys in the next video peace